Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, The Boxing Docs, and my name is Justin, as always, we are talking about New World today. Very sad news about New World, it has been delayed again. Well, so what do we have, what do we know, what, what's going on? So obviously, I'm gonna let, I'm, I am terrible at reading on camera, as we've all seen from my past videos. So I'm gonna let Microsoft Mark take, take the time, Microsoft Mark, take it away! With our August 25th launch approaching, we have been scrutinizing our feature list, taking input from our alpha audience, and listening to what they enjoyed, didn't, about the current game. We're incredibly grateful for all of the support, and suggestions from our alpha players, ranging from the folks who spent thousands of hours in New World to those who just sampled it's all valuable. I'm proud of the hard work the team has done, making the game ready for launch with the features we intended for release. We also have a list of features that we planned to start working on once we were in live development, as that is part of operating an MMO. When we examined the feedback we received over the last several months from our alpha audience, we saw that players like the game, and they would like to see even more of it. In particular, we want to ensure that the most dedicated players have plenty of middle and end game experiences as they venture through Eternum. We want our players to feel completely immersed in the game, and know that our studio stands for quality and lasting gameplay you can trust and that means added time to get things where we want them before we fully release. As a result, we will be changing our launch date, and correspondingly, our final beta test to spring 2021. We don't make the decision lightly, and we have urgency about getting the game to you as quickly as possible at the best quality. With some additions that will make the experience even better, we're passionate about the game we've been making and want to add more features and content before we share it with a wider audience. As a thank you to our community, we will be providing a special opportunity for our beta sign up and pre order customers plus our alpha testers, thank you, to play the full game, of New World, in its current state, for a limited period of time starting on August, 25th. We will send an email directly to those customers detailing the process to, participate. We're confident that you'll feel that the game has as much promise as, we do, and will understand why we want to take the extra time to make this, experience the best it can be at release. Rich Lawrence, studio director. So there it is. They delayed it. They don't think it's ready yet. But it's not all terrible news. So the day after this came out, I got to watch a couple other people's videos. I was busy. I couldn't get this out. I'm sorry, everybody. But what I figured out is they will have a seven-day trial period for people who have pre-ordered the game, who are supposed to have beta, on August 25th, the the second launch of the game. They will have it going for seven days, and you will be able to stream this. This is not an NDA. This is a game in its current form, to my understanding. So we will at least be able to play a little bit of it for a week. I might have to take a vacation that week for myself. But if you guys want to go hang out with me and see how the game is so far and you haven't purchased yet, head over to my Twitch. I will be there streaming it. At least August 25th. I believe I have the day off. But what does this mean for the game in total? It means hopefully more features and better content in the game. So I get why they're doing this. They're trying to delay it back. They want to add more stuff into the game. So end game feels like it has content. Or even mid game has content. So what can we expect? Maybe mounts. Maybe dungeons. Although it's an open world. And a dungeon isn't part of an open world MMO. So we'll see about that. They already... To kind of tease dungeons with the arenas, the um, ancient arenas with the, the Spriggan. It, 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 I wouldn't be against them. I really wouldn't. I it, it's But it's not an open world. But I'm really hoping they add a lot more lore. Because from what I hear, there's no real story in it. Like, there's no, there's no drive to take land from another faction. Or to become more powerful other than to play other players in pvp so it, it seems like they're, they're still having issues with that pvp or yeah pve section 
I don't think they'll ever bring back um, full loot PvP. They already said the, the griefing was too much when they tried it, and hopefully it doesn't make, come back, in my opinion, because griefing is never good for fun players. It's never good to bring in new people, to, especially to a new game. So hopefully this alpha test the August 25th will be cool, but the game will be out in 2020, May 2020. It is what it is. But what's that mean for this channel? It means there's going to be a more diverse content other than just New World. Because everything I've done so far could be could be for not. But that's okay. I will keep my eye out on this. I will try to do news as much as I can while we're kind of in limbo here. And I will give you as much information as I can, I can possibly bring you. And I'm going to try to do one video a week here of something. Whether it's Twitch clips, whether it's New World News, whether it's just stuff I want to talk about or rant about. I think we'll do that. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Remember, please try to give it a thumb up. Subscribe down below. And since I suck at talking, Microsoft Mark, take us out. Peace. Thank you all for watching. Remember, it's a tough world out there, so keep on fighting. And until next time. Bye.